Hello and welcome to another Wolf Time Gaming video. Today we're going to be painting the weasel that you can see just to the right hand side of the screen there. He was a freebie with the last Kickstarter and I've been really looking forward to getting onto him. Uh, but as always, let's get the kettle on before we get started. Okay, so let's get started. So we started off with a Rhinox hide again, um, as I've done with a, a few of the previous videos, a few of the previous paints I've done uh, for the Boris and Badgers guys. Uh, it just gives it a nice dark brown to, to build up from. Uh, I've changed the camera that we I've used for this one now, so hopefully things are in focus for you. And I, as we've done with the previous videos as well, I've, I've uh, sped the videos up, so I've got a bit of a time lapse. Um, just so you don't get bored and we can get through the uh, the video fairly quick. So with this I just gave a complete covering on the fur um, and his tail basically covered everywhere that was uh, animal fur essentially or his hands, uh, his paws, his face. Uh, just to give that, that complete coverage. What I then did, I got the Mournfang Brown and uh, gave a bit of a, a, a dry brush essentially over the whole model uh, just to bring that, that colour up. Uh, concentrated a little bit more on the uh, uh, over the tops of the eyes and things. At this point as well, I painted his weapon. It looked like a big lump of wood that he was uh, swinging around. Uh, so I did that with the Mournfanger's brown as well, just so it stood out for the rest of the model. And then moved on to Xandra Dust uh, on the, uh, 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 over the model as well, uh, just to give it a, a coverage, just to highlight a few of those areas uh, around the fur. And then moved on to his jacket, which was started off with Wag Flesh. Uh, green uh, citadel paint um, essentially I was trying to go for more of a highland sort of a look I did, I did regret using this one I thought I wish I'd gone darker but the null oil I used later on did darken it quite a lot uh, as you'll see um, so it looked quite effective in the end Following that I gave it a little bit of a highlight of war boss green just over the top of the uh, the green itself um, I also used uh, the Xandra Dust to paint the shorts as well, um, just to give that a bit of a cover. I also used uh, Corvus Black as the next step, just on the nose and around the eyes, just to really pick out those darker details and to make them stand out a little bit more from the fur, um, make them, them really show up uh, quite nicely. The next step was uh, corn red just on the, the handle of the weapon and on the jacket. Unfortunately, in the video, my camera cut out for that part, so you can't see. But essentially, I just did like a crisscross pattern, you know, a very sort of tartan look um, without going into too much detail. And literally, the final step then was a, again uh, with the Rhinox hide just on the base, as I've done with the, the previous models from this series and this Kickstarter that I picked up. Um, complete coverage on the on the base just to uh, to start off really as soil. I then used uh, just around the edge of the corvus black around the edge of the actual uh, base itself. Then went on to basing the model. I used a little bit of super glue just to stick down the the, the couple of flowers I've got, a couple of the tufts. And then used just a standard PVA glue, covered the actual base itself, and went over the tufts to try and harden and make sure none of the, the flowers fall off. I just used a, an army painter flock then just around the bases. Um, and that was it. A nice, nice, quick, easy, um, easy model to put together. Really enjoyed painting it, and you can see, just using nine paints. It's all, all I used uh, on this whole model itself. Uh, and look, he's tabletop ready. Absolutely fantastic little model. I really, really enjoyed painting him, and fits really well into the force. Not 100% on the tartan, but he'll do for what, what, I want to, what I want to do with him. I just want to get him on the table and start playing with him, essentially. And he fits really well into the, some of the other weasels I've got. You can see on the screen now, there's another one I painted uh, recently. He fits perfectly into that aesthetic. So thanks so much for watching guys and um, thanks for coming along. Make sure you, you comment down below. Let me know what you think uh, of the paint schemes and like the video. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, to see any future videos that we've got. I've got a few things planned. Uh, hopefully, we'll get them uploaded fairly soon. Um, but thanks very much again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.